Diversity is really just another way of saying fairness, equity, and equality. And the American scene is just another way of portraying the rich, vibrant, and vital faces and voices of the real, true world around us. As SAG-AFTRA members, we are the diverse storytellers who give a face and a voice to our collective stories. And we've long been committed to the belief that the stories we see on our screens and hear over our airwaves, no matter where they might be, should truly reflect the reality of the world around us. The American Scene Awards honor productions that intelligently and progressively employ the talents of our membership. As the union's only awards program that recognizes employers of SAG-AFTRA members, the American Scene Award shines a spotlight on producers whose projects exemplify your shared commitment to equal access and full inclusion of diverse ethnicities, people with disabilities, women, people who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, and or transgender, and other misrepresented or underrepresented groups. When considering eligible products, member leaders come, member leaders from the Honors and Tributes Committee, from the Honors and Tributes Committee, excuse me, I have to get that all in, and the Diversity Advisory Committee base their award selections on three critical considerations. One, how does this project authentically reflect the American scene? Two, why would SAG-AFTRA want to shine a spotlight on this project as an example for other producers? And three, how does this project break new ground when it comes to the inclusion of our diverse membership? That is really ambitious stuff. I mean, that is a heavy load for these members to carry out, and I want all of us to thank them for their dedicated service in bringing us these awards tonight by giving them a rousing round of applause. Thank you. These SAG-AFTRA awards continue the celebrated tradition established by a 1985 AFTRA National Convention resolution. Following the lead set by the SAG-AFTRA Constitution, the three categories for which American Scene Awards will be given mirror the three major categories by which they define themselves. The time has come for our first award, and it is the Belva Davis Broadcaster American Scene Award. And it is appropriately named after one remarkable woman. In 1957, and Belva, I'm not sure where she is, in 1957, Belva Jean Melton, a 20-something African-American woman in the Bay Area, began writing freelance articles for magazines. Within a few years, she was reporting on radio and television and thus launched a career that would include eight Emmy Awards and honors from the American Women in Radio and Television as well as National Association of Black Journalists. She was the first African-American woman to become a television reporter on the West Coast. And over time, Belva Jean, by then better known as Belva Davis, covered many of the important events of the day, including issues of race, gender, and politics. She became an anchor woman and hosted her own talk show before retiring after an astonishing 40-year career in 2012. And here to present the award named after the amazing Belva Davis is Bay Area broadcaster, current president of the National Association of Black Journalists, and longtime FOB, as in friend of Belva. Would you please welcome Bob Butler? You know, I first met Belva, um, I saw her on TV many years ago, and the first time I met her, I said the one thing that nobody in TV wants to hear. I used to watch you when I was a kid. <laughs> she's an amazing woman. She's my mentor. She's a remarkable journalist. She covered a wide range of important stories during her career and did so with a special eye for diversity and humanity. It's a fabulous tribute that is, this award is named for her. 
it is an honor to tell you about our next award. With a varied and multifaceted view of Arab, Amer Arab Americans from all walks of life, Arab American Stories has given audiences an opportunity to learn about the significant contributions made by the people featured, contributions to their professions, communities, and to the world at large. The format of the show is highly personal, entertaining, and easy to relate to. Here to accept the award on behalf of Detroit Public Television is our fellow SAG-AFTRA member, NPR correspondent, and the host and narrator of Arab American Stories, Netta Ulibi. such an honor for our work to be part of, um, uh, to be recognized as part of the accomplishments of Belva Davis. What a hero. And uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful to think that our, the work that we did is uh, part of, uh, her, of honoring her legacy. Um, a couple of people have asked us, where can we see Arab American Stories? It was aired on public radio stations around the country. You can also go online. There are, there are episodes on, online. But it started in Detroit. And the folks at Detroit Public Radio looked at their own city. And yeah, shout out to Detroit, definitely. <laughs> Detroit's got the largest population of Arab Americans uh, in the United States. And this, and this is what they did. They, they, looked, they looked at that and they thought, this is the point of public media. It's to tell stories that open up worlds, to use television to build bridges between them, to check assumptions and stereotypes, and to honor the Arab American experience. So credit is absolutely due to Detroit Public Television's president, Rich Homburg, and his wonderful, wonderful team, and to the crack executive producer, Alicia Sams, who made a total TV poetry out of the stories of people who aren't used to having their stories told well, if at all, in the media. Those range from a butcher to an opera star to an openly gay cafe owner in Iowa to, most importantly in this room, a union organizer. So my, my own family is Syrian on my father's side, and I can't begin to tell you how meaningful it's been to see stories about the millions of Arab Americans who live in love with the United States and who are not only shaped by, but are shaping the stories that television, radio, and movies tell us about who we are, about who we all as Americans are. In Arabic, we say shukran. In English, thank you. Shukran Neda, and congratulations. Beautifully done, and hint, hint, Detroit, we would love to see more episodes. For our next award, I am proud to call on stage a young woman who has been charting her own course in this business since singing the national anthem at the LA Clippers games at the ripe old age of nine. Then after deciding to take, then she decided to take the easy way out and she graduated from Yale. She returned to LA to pursue her first and most enduring love. After releasing her self-titled freshman LP, she mesmerized audiences with her distinctive vocals all over the world. From the Med, to many an underground London pub, to St. Croix and the Virgin Islands, immersing herself in the richness of an old world culture that provided the perfect backdrop against which her sensual musical stylings could really glow. Quite the underachiever, right? Well, here to present the Recording Artist American Scene Award, would you please welcome Jack Becker. Wow. Thank you so much for having me here. As someone who strives to tell stories through my music, I'm inspired by the people who have been on stage here tonight and by all of you for insisting that we all must have a safe space to tell these stories. Universal Music Group's 
current roster of artists is representative of a wide variety of musical genres, embodying every facet of the American scene. Their artists speak directly to audiences through myriad diverse stories and experiences. I am proud to be part of this eclectic and exceptional group of artists. I am thrilled to be able to present this award to someone I have known since joining the Universal Music family. He is an exceptional mentor and friend. Here to accept the Recording Artist American Scene Award on behalf of their entire roster of artists is Executive Vice President and General Counsel for Universal Music Group, Jeff Harleston. Thank you so much for that uh, introduction, Jack. You are, you are definitely the vision of our future and uh, a very important part of the Universal family, so thank you. And I also want to thank everybody at SAG-AFTRA for uh, honoring Universal and our artist roster tonight. Uh, we really, really are humbled by the fact that you would recognize us, and most importantly, we cherish our partnership with SAG-AFTRA and look forward to it continuing for many, many years. And to that end, this award says as much about your membership as it does about UMG. The artists are our lifeblood, and we, we, we share a commitment to diversity. You know, I have, I'm, I'm fortunate to have one of the greatest jobs in the world, as you saw from the, the video presentation, to be able to work with the artists and the roster that we have, from Lady Gaga to, to Nat King Cole, from James Brown to Andrea Bocelli, to all of the Motown catalog, to the incredible uh, style, stylings of, of Bob Marley. It's, it's never a dull moment, and it's incredibly enriching to be able to, to work with the artists in their music and be able to, to continue to protect their legacies. Music inspires listeners to come together as one. And the greatest artists in music history come from every imaginable background. We at Universal celebrate and cherish the great music produced from every corner of the globe by cultures and peoples everywhere. We listen to music with our ears and with our hearts. The melodies, harmonies, and rhythms move us regardless of the color, orientation, or gender of the musician that creates it. And that's what makes music so powerful. That's what makes music so universal. And that pun is intended. <laughs> so, Thank you for recognizing what we've accomplished so far, but our work is not done, and we look forward to continuing to work with SAG-AFTRA to, to promote music throughout the world. Thank you very much. I couldn't help but look in awe at all of those musicians in that uh, compilation, uh, and it's, it's so enjoyable, and you obviously were all feeling it too, and I want to introduce somebody very special to me in my life because, because he played a very important role in bringing live music, rock and roll especially, to America. He was the first one to do it live every weekend in the Midnight Special, my husband, Bert Sugarman. Right down here, Bert Sugarman's Midnight Special. I think he personally knew or still knows every single performer we just saw. And now here to present the actor-performer category, born right here in Los Angeles, Francia Raisa is an accomplished actor whose credits include roles in Bring It On, All or Nothing, The Cutting Edge, Chasing the Dream, and The Secret Life of the American Teenager, for which this rising star has been nominated for an Alma, Imagen, 
and Teen Choice Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, Francia Raisa. Thank you, everyone. Hi. Having spent the past five years working on this amazing show, I know firsthand the impact The Secret Life of the American Teenager has had on me personally, the membership in general, and as well as audiences and the industry. It demonstrates the power and va value in hiring from the diverse ranks of our society. It is rare that one program features diversity on such a frequent and wide-ranging scale of particular importance. Is the employment of progressive and complex storylines that continually provide audiences with opportunities to learn from and accept diversity in, other, in others and their experiences. Here to, to accept the award on behalf of ABC Family is someone that I am so very proud to have known and have had the good fortune to be a part of a world she created. And let me tell you, this woman almost made me fail fourth grade because of seventh heaven, didn't do my homework for once a week or study for my tests. But now I get to say that I've worked with her and it's such an honor to call her a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the creator and showrunner of the amazing and the amazing and wonderful Brenda Hampton. Gracias, mi amiga. You see how wrong of that sounds. <laughs> That's why it's important to get the right actor for the role. I had... <laughs> I had such a great time doing The Secret Life of the American Teenager, and I want to thank Disney, and I want to thank ABC Family for letting me be inclusive and bring in all the people that I could. Um, first of all, I'm a writer, I'm not a performer, and I didn't know Celia was going to be here with her teleprompter, so I'm just going to speak to you. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am the only white person in my family. I have, I have two Vietnamese and two African Americans, and I like to see color and diversity on television. <laughs> I want my children to see that, and I want my children to be inclusive, and I'm sure you do too. So I want to thank you for encouraging producers to do the right thing by giving this award, and I'm deeply honored, and I thank all of you, and it's great to be here at the first convention of SAG-AFTRA. Thank you so much. <laughs> 